Right, so we're here with Hurricane at the uh, Veterinary Surgical Center Rehabilitation in Virginia, in Vienna. Old boy's about to go under, wish him luck, and we'll check in when he's coming back out. So we've got Hurricane's MRI here, and what we can see is, we're gonna look at his back. So we've got his low back, all the vertebrae right here, and then here's the beginning of his tail. And in here, this is right where the spinal cord sits. And for what we were seeing with him, you can see how the disc here and the disc here, they don't bulge up. But this disc right here, between his lumbar and his sacrum, is pushing up and it's pinching on his spinal cord. And so that's causing him some discomfort in his back legs. So now we're looking at Hurricane as if we're kind of like slicing through like a loaf of bread. And here on his on the left side of the screen is the right hip joint. And that looks really good. The left one doesn't quite look the same. So it has us just a little more worried about arthritis, unlikely to be infection or cancer or things like that. But just that they're a little bit different, we can just see that it's got a little bit more of a brighter spot here that we don't have on this side. So we need to look at that with x-rays. So now we're looking at x-rays of Hurricane's hip joints from today and his right hip's on the left side of your screen and the left is on the right, okay? And he's a little arthritic on this side, but pretty deeply seated ball into the cup. On his left side, it's just shallower and it's a little getting pinched in some areas with arthritis. We're probably getting towards some bone on bone or at least a lot of cartilage loss in there but we don't see anything eating away the bone. So we're not as worried about infection or cancer. And then our next step is we're gonna put a camera in to his hip joint and take a look around and see what the cartilage looks like. So here, after we've spun Hurricane's blood, we've got the red blood cells at the bottom and all the platelets here floated to the top with some of the white blood cells. So we're gonna pull off this part and that's gonna be our platelet-rich plasma and we're gonna inject that into Hurricane's left hip to get him some good pain relief from his arthritis. All right, so what we put into Hurricane's hip to help him feel better or his own platelets, his own platelet rich plasma. And, okay? and that's the solution. But then we also put in hyaluronic acid, which is synthetic joint doing, doing, doing an oil shift, right? But look at this thing. I'll put it both on your fingers. Oh, so, uh, so this is some of the left right? Thick. Right? Super thick. And then I can rub and it doesn't go away. All medical grade sterile yeah, stuff. What's in your guys' skin creams and everything? Oh, right? Cover all your fingers? Yeah. Right? How long does it last? A couple of months. Wow. Let's see how it feels. Right? Right? So that gives viscosity. Yeah. Really good, right? Four to six months, along with a whole bunch of therapy. Now, what we'll do is when we do his third epidural in six weeks, we'll repeat. I'll, we won't put the camera back in, but I'll put a new dose of all that okay. into that to extend it. Okay. Right? Because remember, he, if this is his ball and this is his socket on that left side. He's down to mostly bone on bone. So it's just rubbing all the time, right? I get dead skin cells and hurt and the heat. What we're put in lubricates it. Is that what the cracking is as well? That's the, that's the cracking. It's that bad that you can actually see it. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. wild. Okay. Poor guy. Feel better though. Yeah. Right? So this morning, another patient that we took care of here, we had to do a total hip replacement. So in order to do a total hip replacement, and this is the ball and socket, you have to take off the whole ball and put a synthetic one on. This is that dog's worn out ball, okay? And he's only half Hurricane's age, but you guys can see and feel, feel how it's smooth over here, right? But then it's really rough yeah. in some areas, right? So that, from where it was 
from where it's rubbing down. down. That's what he kind of, that's what he's feeling like when he... It's like your lips being cracked all the time, trying to walk on that, right? So that dog's got a brand new bionic hip put in, right? What is that? What does that look like? I'll show you on next week. Yeah, it's okay. titanium. It's yeah. titanium? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I would right? his teeth. Yeah. <laughs> so it's his teeth, right? right. Yeah. But so that's what kind of hurricanes deal with is something that's yeah. just yeah. uncomfortable. Yeah. Right? There's no cartilage left on that. Like that's all bone. There's no there's no padding. Look how much you can just scrape it with your fingers. Right? There's no padding on that. So is that where the uh, PRP would actually go? Kind of coated. Cover, I mean, okay. not, not great, but at least kind of yeah. smooth it out a little bit. We're not going to. It's not a starfish, you can't grow a new leg, right. but we can get some better healing. Okay. And calm down that joint capsule. The joint capsule that's really thick, that's they call the synovium. So when you get inflammation of that, it's synovitis. And that's the stuff that looks like sea anemones on the scope. Okay. And that's just stuff that's just rubbing all the time, causing mm -hmm. inflammation. That's what we're No, that's great to are. see, because basically yeah. you just treated the same thing for a different dog earlier, but you wouldn't do that for a dog his age, right? No, it's just too not. much. It's a lot, right? But, so the cartilage is gone. The cartilage doesn't have nerve endings, but the reason arthritis hurts is because that synovium has all the nerve endings in it, and that's what's painful. Let's see if we can make him feel better. That's the access point to his epidural space. So I'm gonna put a needle into that, okay? We're gonna push a little bit of saline into that to expand it, because it's kind of stuck together. Okay. We're gonna expand it a little bit, and then I'm gonna follow, push some cortisone directly into that. That's gonna get absorbed right on, top of that area where that bulging disc is pushing up on the spinal cord. And then we're gonna pull the needle out. And the cortisone's anti-inflammatory, is that the main? That's the big one, exactly. Put a targeted anti-inflammatory right where it needs it. Poke. going into a vacuum, so sometimes that little drop is going to suck down into the hole. Let's see, sometimes it doesn't, so we're going to see if I get any resistance. No resistance. So we just slowly expand that space. And we got our cortisone, long-acting cortisone, injecting. And then push the last ever bit of that right on through. And that's it. Get to wake up. Cooping, can you give us a quick snapshot? I know it was a very long day, but what exactly we went through today from start to finish? Yeah, I mean, he had a long day, but he did great. He's much more comfortable, and we basically have a lot of good news, right? We're not really worried about cancer or infection with his hip joint. Okay. Right? Got some x-rays today that helped us to see that. We put a camera called an arthroscope right into that hip joint and we could see that he's kind of running out of cartilage there. And he's got a lot of inflammation, but he, there's no tumor growing in there. There's no pus in there or anything like that. So we pulled the camera out and we in, we made, from his own blood, we made platelet-rich plasma, PRP, that, yeah. right? And we injected that as a targeted anti-inflammatory right into that left hip of his. And we combined it with what's called hyaluronic acid, which is synthetic joint fluid give him really good lubrication there. And then what we did was, because his low back's bugging him, yep. 
we did his first epidural injection today with cortisone to get him relief right on top of that bulging disc. And then we found a little lump down by his ankle and we took a piece of that for a biopsy just to be safe and make sure there's nothing bad going on there. Okay. And he gets to go home today. Doesn't have to stay overnight, man. It's all good news. Thank all you. Right. Pleasure. Here at the Virginia Surgical Center after a very long day, but all great news. So thank you to everyone, all the messages, texts, phone calls, social media, the amount of people that were checking in today, it's absolutely amazing. Um, the doctors today, Dr. Longenbach, Dr. Uh, Brunke, the anesthesiologist, all the techs, he had 10 people uh, helping Hurricane today. We're so thankful for that. He is, he is good to go. There was definitely some things that were concerning in his hips that they saw during the last MRI. They actually put a camera in, scoped the whole thing out. No concerns there anymore. And they did take a biopsy from his leg of, you know, some things that might be concerning, but as of right now, they think he is, is good to go and healthy. They also did a lot of treatment for his hips. So we'll see over the next few days how that takes. And we'll be posting everything from today. We had an amazing day, a lot of cool stuff to see. But again, thank you, the doctors. And of course, thank you, Pauls of Honor. Making this connection without you, this wouldn't, wouldn't be possible. Thank you so much for everything you do for us and all the other retired working dogs out there.